in linear motion we will study the relations of different quantities there is a particle here at position a and it moves in rectilinear motion that is a straight line motion when it moves the time keeps on changing and its position keeps on changing okay so after certain time t t it reach this position from a to b its velocity when we observed it here maybe it was not zero because maybe it is coming from somewhere a motorcycle start from there when it comes before me i start my stopwatch at that time its speedometer was showing certain reading certain velocity and that velocity i give a measurement i give it a name and that measurement is u what i call it when i started the clock that means i have started counting time at that time whatever is the velocity i will call it initial velocity u and how much is that velocity i treat as u a symbol okay then my time starts 1 second 2 second 3 second 5 seconds and after t second again i stop my stopwatch how much time has passed t second at that time motorcycle was here after time t and its velocity might have changed the now velocity is v and i call it because i stopped my stopwatch i call it final velocity give it a symbol v how much time has passed t time passed or time elapsed okay meanwhile the motorcycle has moved certain distance and that displacement from this point to this point in a straight line we can call it distance we can call it displacement let it be s during this motion the velocity has been changing might be increasing maybe decreasing but one feature was there that increase was uniform uniform we have done it what is meant by uniform increase that is uniform acceleration change in velocity that change in velocity per second is a so here a is the uniform acceleration uniform acceleration this okay so we have v u u v t s a these are the five quantities involved here u changes due to a acceleration the velocity changes to v the time taken is t and the displacement during this is s these are the 1 2 3 4 5 quantities this is accelerated motion and we have to find the relation between different quantities first what is the relation what is the definition of acceleration acceleration is change in velocity per unit time how do we calculate it mathematically answer is acceleration is equal to change in velocity v minus u per unit time t so in t second change is v minus u so in one second change will be v minus u upon t according to definition of acceleration so you multiply this v is equal to at and keep it here so what we get v is equal to u plus at this is a very famous relation for us in a simple one line otherwise this is the relation that's good so this we call as kinematic equation number 1 now a second relation for second relation we see the distance traveled here for every one second 
the velocity is increasing with the same rate. So, what is the average velocity throughout? We have studied average velocity when the velocity is changing with uniform rate of time. That is different velocities for equal intervals of time. Then how do we get average velocity? Answer final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2 that is average velocity. So, average velocity is equal to v plus u upon 2. So, can we find out displacement with this? Answer is yes. Displacement is velocity into time and what we take here is average velocity because this velocity keeps on changing. So, we take average velocity into t. So, this is v plus u divided by 2. This is to be multiplied by t. This is displacement. Displacement we write as s and this is v plus u upon 2 t. This v with the help of first formula we write it u plus a t. So, this is u plus a t plus u upon 2 into t. So, this is u plus u 2 u 2 u upon 2 plus a t a t upon 2. This is to be multiplied with t and therefore, s is equal to this is u multiplied with t u t plus this is 1 upon 2 half a t into t t square s is equal to u t plus half a t square. This become our kinematic equation number 2. Okay. Here is the relation between s, u, t and a. Here is the relation between v, u, t and a. There is no s here. There is only timing, initial velocity and final velocity. What is missing here? Final velocity. So, this is the relation between s u t. You must remember that the any relation is between which quantities and which quantity is missing. Now, third, we make another quantity in which we want relation between v, u, s and a without time. So, what do we do? This v minus u upon t, v minus u upon t. This is what? acceleration right then displacement s is equal to velocity into time we get the formula for time v plus u upon 2 is the average velocity i will write it this way displacement s is equal to average velocity multiplied by time. This is average velocity is v plus u upon 2. This is average velocity. This is to be multiplied with time and get the time from here. Time is equal to v minus u upon a. v minus u upon a. This is equal to a plus b a minus b. So, this is v square minus u square upon 2 a s. This is our third relation. Okay. We do not want this upon. So, 2 a we bring it here. So, we get it 2 a s is equal to v square minus u square. This is our third relation. This can also be written in different form. Suppose we want to find out final velocity. So, v square is equal to how much u square plus 2 a s. So, this is our third relation. So, in kinematics there are three equations famous three equations 1 v u a t v is equal to u plus a t s is equal to u t plus half a t square and v square. So, in this formulas please remember one thing if we want to find out final velocity and t is given to us we will use this. Okay, before that, one compulsory thing is these are formula of kinematic equations when the particle is moving with 
यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन इफ ए पार्टिकल इज मूविंग विद यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन देन ईच रिलेशन विल हैव एक्सेलरेशन इन इट ए हियर ए एंड हियर ए ए हैज टू बी देयर इन ऑल देन बिसाइड से दिस इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन वी यू टी दिस इज रिलेशन बिटवीन एस यू टी एंड दिस इज रिलेशन बिटवीन वी यू एस आउट ऑफ फोर थ्री क्वांटिटीज आर ऑलवेज देयर नाउ इन दिस हाउ विल यू फाइंड वेलॉसिटी इन विद रिलेशन टू टी हियर वेलॉसिटी विद रेफरेंस टू टी वट इज द रिलेशन ऑफ वेलॉसिटीज इफ टी इज नॉट गिवन only displacement s is given this velocity s t is not required so final velocity you can find out if time is given final velocity you can find out if distance is given both way here you don't need time here you don't need distance similarly s when time is given and you find out the distance this is the relation if time is not given but initial and final velocity is given you will use this relation initial and final velocity you don't need time here so please remember for calculation of s you have two options with time without time for final velocity you have two options with time without time so this is how the relations will work you will have to find out which formula will be suiting best for a given problem so these are famous kinematic equations thank you